Hiker has no doubt he encountered Brian Laundrie on Appalachian Trail. A Florida engineer is adamant he spoke with Brian Laundrie on a deserted road near the Appalachian Trail in North Carolina on Saturday morning. Dennis Davis' alleged encounter with the boyfriend of slain Long Island native Gabby Petito comes as police receive tips that Laundrie may be traversing the trail, the world's longest footpath. There is no doubt in my mind I spoke to Brian Laundrie none whatsoever, Davis, 53 said. Dog the Bounty Hunter's daughter sent me an audio file of Brian's voice, and the voice was the same I heard. Lost and dazed men allegedly waved down Davis on Waterville Road, where the Appalachian Trail runs nearby the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. Appalachians is understood to be an area familiar to Laundrie, who was previously reported to have once lived there by himself for months. The man believed to be Laundrie pulled his car up alongside Davis to ask for directions to California using only back roads and refused Davis' suggestion to take nearby Interstate 40. Davis, a father of for currently hiking the Appalachian Trail, said the Laundrie lookalike acted skittish and rambled about being in a fight with his girlfriend. Davis said he believes if the man was Laundrie he was wigged out from being on the run and the situation with Petito. He said, man, I'm lost. I said what are you trying to find? And he said me and my girlfriend got in a fight, but she called me, told me she loves me, and I have to get to California to see her. I said well, I-40 is right there and you could take it west to California, and he said, I'm just going to take this road into California. He was worried and not making sense. Davis did not immediately recognize the man as the fugitive until he pulled over and looked up photos of the outlaw on his phone. The man Davis cited drove a white or light-colored pickup truck resembling a Ford F-150 and wore a dark bandana on his head. Davis is frustrated three calls to the FBI and 911 calls in both North Carolina and Tennessee have not been returned by law enforcement. Despite the road being dark, Davis said the headlights from both idle cars were sufficient to see the man at such close range. Obviously, as a father with a daughter, I want to do whatever I can to help the family find closure and get this guy off the streets," he said. Law enforcement is probably getting millions of leads on this guy, but I am not some goofball out there doing drugs in the middle of the night. I am a highly educated professional. And I know that was the guy, there is no doubt about it. We have this lead but no one's doing anything, not even a phone call. Laundrie returned to Florida from a cross-country trip without his girlfriend and travel companion Gabby Petito on September 1st. Petito was officially reported missing Sep. 11 and latter found dead in Wyoming. Laundrie remains the sole person of interest in the case. He went missing on Sept. 14, according to his parents, who only reported it to police three days later. There is an active warrant for his arrest and fraud charges for using someone's bank card around the time Petito disappeared. We will definitely update you if there's an update to this case. Like, share, subscribe.